Glória a Saber que nós somos essa I to be wonder by the beauty of the Lord to know that he's taking care of us and he's been preserving us bless be the name of the Lord I greet the church those who visit us and those who are following us online with the peace of the Lord we're going to open our books and chronics first first chronics chapter 11 first chronicles 11 And this is the this is the word that was being we're being discussing and then tomorrow it could be the same word again. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We're gonna read First Chronicles chapter eleven beginning in verse sixteenth. Verse sixteenth. And the word says David was then in a stronghold and garrison of the Philippines was then in Bethlehem. And David said, Wulongi, oh, that someone will give me a drink of water from the well of Bethlehem, which is by gate. So the three broke through the camp and Philistines drew water from the well, Bethlehem, and it was the gate and looked at it broadly to David. Nevertheless, David would not drink, but pour it out to the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Dear Lord, we adore you. Because since the beginning of the service, we feel, we feel your spirit along us, among us. We felt, we can feel the touch in our hearts, the joy, the joy of you bringing us the comfort. So now we're going to meditate on your word so we can comprehend, comprehend what only your Holy Spirit can reveal. So speak to our hearts so we can live here. Loving you even more. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. The uh, brothers, please be seated. Uh, the cares of the Lord is beautiful. See, brethren, how wonderful it is. Last week, at the end of the service of Thursday, we had a servant, a lady, asking for prayer. Asking for sister and then she said, Brethren, pray, pray with me because I want to glorify the Lord, the Lord because I couldn't, I, I, I wouldn't be here today. Something happened, something happened in an oven that I have in more than 10 years and I use it every day. And that oven started to it got, got on fire. The more we tried, the, the, the fire, we couldn't put out the fire. And then she, she mentioned that the fire lasted for 20 minutes. If I mentioned that to anybody, about the, everybody will say 20 minutes, the whole house will be set on fire. So since the fire wouldn't go out, and she uh, said that she took a wet, a wet rag and she tried to, she tried to put out the fire. And, and then... So she tried many ways, many different ways to put out that fire. And some pastor said, you did everything that was, it could be, that was wrong, so you could be electric, you know. And after 20 minutes, the fire went away and this, the family saved. Blessed be the name of the Lord. What we have with the Lord, the Lord cares about us. He takes care of, of us. So today, we, before the service, the, the brother told about a gift that, that a family was in, in danger. We didn't know, but the Holy Spirit knew it. He revealed and he told the family during the first song we sang, the comfort. God gave the comfort to that family because that family recognized even being gone through the moments of difficulty, difficulties, the family was grateful to the Lord because the Lord was with them. And this gratitude in our heart cannot stop. We have to understand each day the eternity that's in our favor. 
it's all to work for us so we, you and me can be preserved. Five or six years ago, there was a seminar done at Israel. Our minister, our pastor was sent there. And in that day, there was a lot of tax in that city and, uh, and during the seminar in Israel. So the brother could say, well, it was a coincidence. No, it was not. There was a, there's a war, there's a battle. So they are working un unstoppable to stop the work of the Lord to grow in that place. But the Lord is with us. The Lord is present. The, the Holy Spirit with, is with us. The angels are, are being sent. Many are here tonight. The Lord is sending angels to all of places, our houses, our work. The, the Lord is operating. So the service is where we gather in the name of the Lord, in the blood of the Jesus, for the glory of Jesus. All the services. We can take possession. So during that seminar in Israel, one of the topics was Jesus in the Old Testament. Testament. The Israel, the Israel and the Jewish, the, and the, the, the messiahs, they, were, they had their mouth open. And then, I never, I never, never imagined that Jesus was in the Old Testament. They were, they were wonder because Jesus presents and uh, during, in, in the life of Moses and Joseph and many others, and today, we are and before one of these examples, which is David, David, where he, where he obeyed, and what he honored the Lord. That what he, what Jesus told him, I found David, the man of my heart, and that one, that man that guaranteed many victories. David was considered a brave man because before he turned twenty. The, the age that the Jewish would be uh, 20, they'd be sent to army. So he was a so he would send food to his brother that was at the war. So he was, you know, he sees that war and he, tell, he tells them, I'm going to the war. I'm going to the war because I'm going with the, in the name of the Lord of, of the army. He didn't have the height. He wasn't strong. He was a skinny man. He was a skinny man. But he went with a spiritual armory. He brought the victory to the people of God. Bless be the name of the Lord. Tonight we're here. We're here talking about David, a more mature David. You know, this text, he is already more mature, involved in and more, more battles and serious battles. And the Lord was with him. But his heart was involved with, with the Lord as well. So we see that was Bethlehem was being set on fire. And David was in a on a strong, on a fourth. And the word says that he, he just mentioned a thought, you know, he let a thought out. He, he thought about. Those who participated on the, the Bible school, some of the some of the Bible school, were being studying about man. They are capable. It has everything to do with the prophetic part. That 
the characteristics related to the eternity, we see that those that were, we've seen many people that they held a sword, speaking that our lives could be to be attached to the doctrine, to the word of the Lord. That's why we use the expression. When we know the Lord, we have a new form of life. Even in a cold moment, a feeling cold moment, and we say, here I am, the Lord give us strength so we can, we can win the, the, the biggest enemy, which is the enemy and the flesh. There was another brave man. He took, he took a sword from a giant, a, a, a sword from a giant. It was a very dangerous sword, but he, he took that away from the enemy, and he wins that battle, showing that we have the direction of the Holy Spirit. Although the difficulties are bigger than what we thought, although in our eyes, it's not possible. It's the end. There's no way to. There's nowhere. There's nowhere else to go. And then that that moment that we that we feel that for the word of the Lord, the Lord, it, the word is is the direction to the sound of a voice, and the victory is is giving us in our hands. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And we observe that in amongst all these brave men, the the, the three people there they were outstanding. They they always had the the presence of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we see here that David was in this moment of war. He uh, in the verse 16, and, and David was in a strong place. Where was David? There was then in a stronghold. So, the eternity was, it's a place where we didn't have access. For that fourth. David, David, David desired to draw water from the well of Bethlehem that was the gate. He is, he is the good shepherd. That's the Jesus, 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 all the time, the word. The eternity, the eternity drew that plan. Jesus is the one that, that lived, that suffered as a man to give us the salvation, the eternity, the, the, the trinity was involved. Those, those brave men went through the place, went through the Philistines, and they, uh, and they went to get the armor. But only one could execute it, and this one is Jesus. When they arrived with the water, David was surprised then he likes I can't believe you did that you uh, you ran the risk of life and then nobody saw you nothing happened you you came back saved and you bring this water the Bible says that he says he just he does some noble he 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 takes that water and say I cannot drink this water I'm not dignified to drink this water and he pours he pours the water on the on the ground, offering to God the gratitude, offering the Lord the blessing of the gratitude because all the victories that he had it was not because of his capacity, not because of his strategy of wars, not for not for what he did human humanly, because he was obedient. And the expression sometimes Sometimes we joke. 
the ABC of the work is to ob ob obedient. That's the biggest truth that we have in our hearts. Even the, even the children knows that. When they don't obey their parents, they prophetically. When they obey their parents, they're prophetically obeying the Lord. Brethren, Jesus came and he did and he did that moment that David poured the Lord before the Lord reflects that Jesus was in the in the cross says Father in your hands I, I give my spirit so nobody forced him nobody tied him held him by his surrender his life for the love of, of my life for the love of your life for the love of the salvation so we can you and me we can be we can, we can have our names written in the book of life and today we live in a world that we can see a lot of bad things the old the old testament we had the heroes the men of war moses and many others gideon and many others that fought to defend this work. So we see David and the brave people. And then the New Testament, the church, the primitive church, many, many churches that gave their lives, they went to the, went to, to the arenas. And today, you and, and I are counted as a brave for the Lord. Our names prophetically will be written in the book of life and, a, and, a, and along with us are the Trinity Father Son and Holy Spirit working every day 24 hours all the time when you uh, when you wake up in the, in the in the middle of the night you cry nobody's seen but the Lord is seen it it's been poured upon you the Lord when he died his blood was shed he gave his life he allowed that his life was exterminated for you and me to be preserved. Jesus, if Jesus didn't die, he wouldn't be here for the glory of his name. So our names wouldn't be written in the book of life, but he allowed that. He gave himself, he surrendered. In your, in your hands, I'll, I surrender my life. Today, you and me have the opportunity to be called Braves of the Lord. You, uh, the Lord can count on you. The Lord can look at you and say, Because today there's a there's a there's a word up there that's a depression. Oh, that someone would give me a drink of a water of Bethlehem. We're gonna enter. We're gonna leave and we come back, and, and we will and we will help the ones there. Those are our allowance. The God bless us with this word. We're going to hear this song that, that talks about the brave of the Lord, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Captain of the Army. Blessed be the name of the Lord.
dava um dom. E nesse dom o Senhor fala. And this gift, the Lord speaks about a lady. Before she converted, she lived a life the opposite way that the gospel, the gospel asked about, asked for the in, in a servant. It's normal. She lives before. This person lived and when she converts herself she feels a joy a joy that she never felt when she really to know the project of the Lord brings us something to never experiment before It generates life, generates joy, because you've discovered that even that you've been in a difficult and a, and a trials in a day to day, there is a victory prepared for you. So when we convert ourselves, we we receive this joy, which is the same thing as this lady. And then interesting that during the time and during her lifetime, in the presence of the Lord. The things were were happening, and today she feels wicked. Trials, all the difficulties of life. But during the service tonight, the Lord gave her the new renew. But in the moment of this service, the Lord manifested. The Holy Spirit made her want to be in the presence again, to be a, a witness, a live witness of what the Lord is doing at, at church. And the Lord now promise to give him a blessing. Do I need to touch in the spirit. Do that. Start to pray. The Lord was not living what the what the word is often out there. a function at church but you can be a project or an object that connect someone and a salvation is, is there anything stronger than that so the Lord is giving you this blessing embrace this promise Embrace this opportunity that the Lord has given you again because the renew you already received. Amen. Let's stand up, please.
praise the Lord your name because truly we can feel your presence in this place what you have prepared for this service the Lord we know that by faith it it, com it has come through the renew the blessing of joy the blessing of to have our names written in the book of life this truly is a is a joy in our hearts and that's why we ask you to come tonight to receive our gratitude our adoration to you lord that can be reverted in blessing in our places in our houses in our family and those that have not accepted you as a our savior you use our lives use Give us boldness to talk about you, to talk about your love, to talk about this project that takes your name, takes the name to the heaven. Give us a position. Take away the take away the shyness. Use each one that you brought here. Those who assist the watching us, capacitate us to speak about you, Lord. Give us a night of rest so tomorrow a blessing O oh Lord so we can uh, so we can throw the seed the invitation and, and many can come to your house we pray in the name of Jesus amen in your name we say the wonderful grace our Savior Lord Jesus Christ the love of God of eternal Father the sweet and eternal consolation of the Holy Spirit can be poured upon us now and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Bless you guys. Bless you, Steve. Those who need assistance, we uh, we greet you with the peace of the Lord. Thank you. Good night. We're going to start our assistance. If you uh, if you identify with any gift, it, 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 I'm not a lady. I'm a man. I'm a young. Yes, but. A gift could be served to you. We're going to pray for you so we can leave here and with the blessing. Amen. Tomorrow at 10.30. Tomorrow at 10.30. Our, our Sunday Bible school, let's say, next Sunday we're going to have a, a an event with the young people. And the uh, you know, in, in Orlando. So please be praying. The same way we had in Helen, that we're going to have in Orlando next Sunday. Please be praying for this moment. So I can be speaking to our hearts. Yes. May the blessed be the name of the Lord. From the young, the youth, the adolescents. Just two sing. The other ones were just looking up, looking up at the. So the next song, the next service, the adolescents will sing by themselves. Just two, just two were singing. Let's sing to the Lord. The praise to the Lord is our adoration to the Lord. The one that sings to the Lord, sing. Sing because also it's a redeem. We sing because we are grateful to the Lord. Okay? Peace of the Lord. Peace of the Lord, Steve. You're a good man. I keep saying.